Hi everybody, it's Lean from Lean and Lou and today I'm going to be doing the first of four videos with craft supplies from BB Crafts. They sent me this little package after telling me that I could pick an assortment of items and these are the four items that I picked to make an assortment of little crafts for you. I was looking for something quite simple that I could use in many different ways and although I intended for this to be Christmas related, I've left it a little late and I'm going for an Easter theme instead. Now as you can see from the things that I picked, it's kind of a hard assortment to make things with but I'm going to do my best. Today I'm going to be using these wooden circles to make a picture holder in the shape of a flower. I've taken two of the large size of the three sizes and drilled them and one of the smallest size and this is to make a base with a barbecue stick for my flower photo holder. I'm also going to be using seven of the medium discs to create the flower itself. Now this is a really simple craft that you can make with kids or a school activity and I thought it was really cute and would make a perfect Easter gift. I'm using just one standard barbecue stick, some wood glue, that little clip that I laid down is a hair clip, some felt, and what I don't show here is one large red button. Now I'm going to take the wood glue first of all and I am going to glue my base pieces together. Wood glue is extremely strong so I have no qualms that this will last the test of time. And you want to let some go in the little hole because later you're going to stick the stick right in there. And you're going to attach the little small one too. You don't need to put this little small one, the base will hold with just the two large ones but I think it looks nicer. So I'm going to glue the barbecue stick. Now I made my hole a little bit wide for the stick so I'm just sticking some extra glue there and I'm working on a silicone mat so I'm not worried about the glue seeping through onto my mat. And I'm going to leave that aside to dry. Now I'm going to glue my seven pieces together by just dotting some wood glue where the little circles meet and I'm going to arrange them as in the pattern as you can see. One central one with six of them going all the way around. Now wood glue dries really fast so even though that I seem like I'm putting a lot of glue here. They didn't take that long to dry at all. I managed to complete this entire craft in only a couple of hours. So if you were making these as gifts, you could make several at one time and it would only take you an afternoon to make a whole bunch of these as gifts. So after they're all glued together and squeezed tight together, make sure every one of them is touching, I left them to dry. Now I took my green felt and I used my roll of satin cord, drew around that one twice and I drew around my base piece one time and you're going to cut them out. So as you can see, two of the large ones and one for the base piece. Now I'm going to glue one of those large ones onto the back of my flower as it's drying. This will be extra strength to keep all those pieces together and make it a lot more sturdy. It will also give somewhere for me to glue my stem to later with hot glue because hot glue loves fabric. Now I'm going to use the satin cord that matches one of the green velvet ribbons and I'm going to use the same wood glue because it works just as well for satin ribbon and I'm going to use my cord to wrap my stick just to make it pretty. You don't need to do this, you could leave the stick bare but I think this makes it look so much better. You're just going to wrap it all the way to the top and then I'm just going to use my little clip just to hold that after I clean all the excess glue off with a baby wipe. As long as you clean up your wood glue when it's wet with something damp it cleans away perfect and I'm going to clip that in place just till it dries. 
just going to trim that off so I can put it to one side. Now I'm using just regular acrylic paint here. It's quite a cheap brand because cheaper brands are usually thinner and work more like a stain than a paint that sits on top of wood and that's what I wanted. I wanted a paint that would soak in. As you can see it soaks in still leaving the wood grain behind. So I'm painting my entire flower. Now, if you didn't have a large button or some other piece that you want to use for the center of the flower, you could by all means just paint the center of your flower, or you could use some Mod Podge and glitter and do the center of your flower, which I think would look equally cute. In fact, I think the whole flower done in glitter would look really cute, and I wish now that I'm watching this that I had actually done a glitter flower. I might go back and do that. Make sure to get the paint on every part of the wood that is showing just so it looks more cohesive and finished. And this will dry really fast. It will soak in really well as long as you've not put it on too thick. Now we're going to make our bow leaves with the velvet ribbon. You just want to give yourself a decent amount of length. Take two loops and tie them as you can see in the video you just cross it over and tuck one through the hole in the middle that you've created and pull it tight then you can adjust the length of your loops just by pulling on the two ends that like i'm doing here as soon as you've got it to a desired size you're just going to trim off your ribbon and this is going to act as our leaves I'm just checking that it looks nice here and that I'm happy with the size of it and I'm laying it aside now this is where you trim off your satin cord but I did it a little bit too early when my glue was still a little bit wet so it looks like it unravels a little bit. I just went back and hot glued that. I'm going to use some more of the acrylic paint which is really cheap, cheap and thin and I'm going to paint my base green. Now even though I'm going to put velvet ribbon around the edges I'm still going to give it a coat of paint just in case any of the ribbon doesn't cover and it just gives it a more finished look. I'm only doing one coat in each of these because I want the wood grain to show through. And then we're going to hot glue the green felt to the base just to give it a nicer, cleaner look. And then we're going to glue that velvet ribbon all the way around the edge and it is the perfect width for these two pieces of wood stuck together. Just glue as you go and then trim to the desired length when you get near the end. going to trim this top bit off because that one had dried far more than the bottom and now we're going to hot glue our flower in place. Hot glue works perfectly fine with this because you're gluing fabric to fabric and it makes a pretty strong bond. Then we're going to take our little clip and hot glue that directly at the top sticking up just a little bit because this is going to hold our photos or our memos. And then we're going to take our piece of felt and cut out a little rectangle just for that clip so it doesn't interfere in any way. Just eyeball it like I did. And then you're also going to hot glue this piece of felt straight over the top to cover everything and just add a little bit more stability. I found doing half at one time was the best way to do it.
Now I'm taking that big red button that I forgot to show you earlier and I'm just gluing it around the edges with hot glue and securing it in place. But I think I may actually go back and glitter my petals and to put something fluffy in the center of that flower like a pom-pom. You're gonna glue on your bowl which are your makeshift leaves. Now you could leave it here and have this as the finished photo holder. It's very Easter themed but I wanted to add a little bit more to it just to make it look more flower petally. So I take an orange Sharpie pen and add some flower petal lines. I think this is the perfect kind of craft that you could do with small children. It makes something bright and great and something that they can sit on their shelf when it's done. And there we go, I'm just showing you, you can clip in your note and it looks fabulous. Sit on a shelf with your favorite photo or just reminders where you can see them and you are done.